Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where it looks like all of our puppies with the weirdest and coolest new mutations are actually in here having a little party together. It is so freaking cute, but we have Nana Wing hanging out with a stray dog. <gasps> Nana Wing! There's two dog eggs in here, and Nana Wing is hanging out with Sentry Feather, who is actually getting close to, like, being an adult, so we can start working on those big, beautiful tail feathers. And Nana Wing is a brand new puppy. We can tell it to fly! Oh, look, I'm trying my best to fly. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So we have actually gone ahead and unlocked a new special item called the dog launcher. And I do want to go ahead and see what it does. But first, let's come over to Litera, who is our new dog, who happens to have some amazing ears. We've got so many new traits on several of these dogs that we definitely need to see come together. <gasps> Celery! Where's Celery the fifth? Oh my gosh. Celery the fifth. Oh no, and Banana the no, 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 too. <laughs> celery the fifth. Oh my gosh, I think Celery the fifth is. No, I think they're stuck in here because of this toy. Oh my word. Oh my word. Banana the no, 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 no. Oh, our ancient dog, Banana the no, 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 just passed. It has the tiniest, itty bittiest little head. Quickly, quickly. No, Celery. Look how small Banana's head was compared to everyone else. I don't know if I'm going to be able to emotionally recover from this because I definitely should have gotten more tiny headed dogs. I had not realized just how small we had actually made this puppers. Um, like, I really hope. Here, I know. You just need to please just swallow this. It's just very small. I need you to get the, the wonderful genes that Banana Nana tried to keep for you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I know that that was actually a much bigger meal than I was expecting. <sighs> oh, you guys, the puppies are already like evolving. Oh my gosh. And Latera, Latera is like ready to go ahead and puppy. This is just wild. I can't believe how quickly time flies by. I haven't even had time to try to like clean everything and make it nice. Let's go ahead and put away the stray cores. Just because they're they're rolling all over the place, which is fine. It's like having the memories of the elders roll all over the place, but still. Oh my gosh. All right, Latera, you're almost ready to hatch. Celery, why don't you go ahead and have a chance to sleep? All you have to do is just like fall over. There's a mummy hand in here we'll put elsewhere. Yeah, I've got to kind of tidy this up. There's Pinafore! Oh my gosh. We're going to go ahead and put Pinafore away. Did I just destroy that capsule instead of open it? We're gonna be very quietly angry about that. I'm not gonna lie. Gonna be very quietly upset about that. <laughs> and then go up and see how Latera is doing. Oh, I can't believe we lost Celery and Banana Nana at the same time. Oh, there's Celery. <laughs> Rest in peace, little one. Oh my goodness. And now Latera is growing up, changing colors just a little bit. We've still got those adorable new ears that we need to check out. Thankfully, it looks like Nana Wing slid in here and was collecting some of Celery's wonderful jeans. We're going to very carefully put away that core. Oh my gosh. It's been busy, you guys. It has been very busy trying to keep up with all of our pups and make sure that everyone is like having a good time. And everyone is getting fed enough. Oh, and Nana Wing, you're already ready to puppy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we just hatched Nana Wing, but I really want to see the like potential eggs and babies that we could get with the wings. Dude, what's that, Latera? <laughs> Latera just got yeeted. Oh, oh no, Cloud Dogs. I don't think we've had any of your babies. Run, guys, run! Oh my gosh. Okay, Cloud Dots and Joy, maybe? They grew up together. It's a love story. Yes, we'll go ahead and breed them. I can't believe... Okay, yes, we're just going so fast. Sorry, guys, that's just the way it happens with Wobble Dogs sometimes. But look at the love story between Dr. Cloud Dots and Joy. Oh, I love this puppers with the curly tails and the biggest smile and the big ears. And Cloud Dots, oh my gosh, Cloud Dots would have a really wonky child like this. All right, 
we can't let our our cloudy lineage like leave us because cloud dots has been keeping the lineage going uh for several of the dogs who actually are descended from some of our graveyard dogs oh look at everybody so I want to remember MD Cloud Dots, and I want to remember Joy, because they were the last of the graveyard dogs we had. Since then, we switched to letting everybody kind of play together all the time. So let's see if we can have a little puppy that kind of like honors both of their line. I kind of want to keep the curly tails going. Well, and we'll try the, the long flat tail. Let's see. Oh, that one's so cute. I love the dark pink. Oh, and look at this one. Oh my gosh. Tiny legs. <laughs> so there are apparently some hidden genes that we could start seeing pop out. That's another huge litter. Oh, look at the cute little QB nose. Oh, come back. Oh, I love your little QB nose. It's kind of like the pointy noses we've got. Oh, like this guy over here. Yeah, we're starting to get some really interesting puppers. Uh, okay, we'll try these two. I've got to keep my eyes out for wings. Because now that we've had them once, I'm just primed and ready to celebrate like wobbly dog wings. And we'll kind of stick with curly tails this time. I say as we immediately get a whole bunch of dogs that have really huge, like, curly kitsune-ish tails. Okay, that's actually kind of amazing. Uh, and let's go with like a lighter pink here too. All right, what are we gonna get? A lot of sniffy dogs with cute pixel eyes. Hmm, I like this one. And then I like this one. Okay. All right, do you guys see any really unique genes yet? We're kind of losing the curly tail and we're kind of going big. Like this is reminding me of when we had, uh, like who was our really huge like cloud dog that was just gigantic? Some of those puppers reminded me of him. He was one of our like graveyard dogs and it was one of the biggest dogs we've ever had. All right, how are we doing now? Was it Cotton Ball? It was Cotton Ball! I knew the name would come back to me if I gave it some time. All right. I don't see any, I'm seeing a lot of cute tails and a big puppy. Like these are huge puppies. It makes me regret that we didn't get more, uh, that's a really cute set of eyes. It's making me regret that we didn't get more tiny, tiny heads from Banana Na Na Na. <gasps> We're below a zero! Oh, really keep your eyes out now, guys. Anything could happen. Oh, I didn't expect to get below zero. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna keep going because we're below zero. All right. Oh, triangle eyes. That's so cool. We've never had triangle eyed puppies before with like really sideways ears. Triangle eyes and sideways ears, yes. All right, we've got more triangle eyes, sideways ears, dogs. What a fun way to like have Joy and MD Cloud Dots have a baby. Maybe I should name their child like Rainbow or something like that. Ooh! Hey, and then this little one has a pretty white coloring to it. Should we go for this one? I kind of feel like this is the one that, that I want to choose actually, because we already have the triangle eyes, but we're going to push it one more time. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no, this is what I get. We get a tiny poof, a tiny poof cloud. Well, we have the triangle eyes and we have the white coloring, but we're gonna need to go ahead and feed that puppy a lot of things to make its legs stronger, cause that's not gonna do. Well, didn't expect that, but there we have it. That's what the random genes are for. Oh, empty clown dots. Oh, rest in peace, my old friend. Let's see if we can get your triangle-eyed puppy out here soon. Or some of the others. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a few three-headed dogs. There's another three-headed dog. There's some of our old dogs. This might be a dog wide enough to unlock things. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll unlock this tiny little one, the child of joy and empty cloud dots. And all the adults 
can just casually yeet themselves out of here, please? Oh, are you so mad? What are you so angry about, Sentry Feather? What are you so angry about? There you go. Just rest your head on the fallen body of, like, empty cloud dots. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up. And now he's going to take a little nap. Oh, dear. Why are Wobble Dogs so weird? Meanwhile, let's let Nana Wing out. Yay! Please don't lose your wings. It didn't occur to me until just now to freak out about that. But then I realized, wait a second, what if you could lose your wings? <laughs> and look at Nana Wing! Nana Wing has actually gotten much taller as a Wobble Dog. And I think it's getting a little easier to use its wings. And it also has changed colors a little bit, which I didn't know could happen. The tail size went down by 50%. What? Hmm. The body width also seriously shrunk, which apparently was just in the genes. It wasn't even a special food it ate. What? Where'd you go? Nana Wing! Nana Wing's out of here, you guys. Like, off to go dance again? Nana Wing doesn't have time for our silliness. Can you try to fly again? Oh, look! Nana Wing's trying to fly! Oh, this is so cool! We're getting such a different profile of puppies than we have had. However, at least we're kind of balancing out the colors and balancing out how things look with a brand new triangle-eyed puppers, who I am going to be naming after one of you guys right over here. And let me pull up the random comment generator. Ooh, oh, right. And Karen, you have some names for puppies. Angel Forest Lake Valley, Lele, or Jock, Butter, Eggy, and Brisket. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I want to go with... How about we go with... Hmm. Angel... Angel Lake? Okay, we're going to go with uh, Angel Lake as weird as that name seems because there's actually a adorable little dog in the the apartment complex that we live in who actually kind of looks like Angel Lake except you know not two heads and multiple tails <laughs> and meanwhile Angel Lake is like party into the bird song which I am totally here for but actually now that I think about it <laughs> Angel Lake reminds me of this dog who is a white fluffy Pomeranian named Angel Bug and when the nice little old lady, who is Angel Bug's mom, first introduced herself, I thought she called her dog Angel Butt. So for several months, every time we would see them on our walks, I would be like, oh, hey, Angel Butt. And it turns out, Chips finally told me, he's like, you know, the dog is like Angel Bug, right? And I was just stunned. I was like, really? This whole time? This whole time, I have actually been calling this dog like the wrong name <laughs> and not only the wrong name but calling it angel butt so yes that's the story of angel butt um who's really named angel angel bug uh and oh my gosh there's like a feeding frenzy Blizzney, what did i say no adults at the the memorial buffets oh my word but all right, so hopefully Angel Lake will be able to go ahead and add in some of their own unique genes to our little pool of puppies. And while we're over here, let's actually kind of tidy some things up. Let's put away empty cloud dots. We do not need to roll... Sentry Feather! What are you doing? We do not need to roll and vomit. That is one of the most doggy things I have ever seen. Find the stinky thing and roll in it. All right, and meanwhile... Let's come up here, and then we're also going to start, like, let's see, I don't want to, what if I just want to remove it? Okay, we're going to remove a few things so that we can make room for decorating just so, and also having spots where the dogs can dig. I want to scooch the, yes, can I move? Oh, <gasps> you can move the trees! Oh, bless, no, you can't. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to be really careful about where I put the trees in the future then. Uh, and we'll move some of the rocks over here and maybe rotate the tree trunk. Okay. And then I'm going to need to think about what kind of food. I want to dedicate a certain type of food into each room that we're actually going to have the pups in. And then also I want to make sure we have plenty of dig spots so there's enough room for the dogs to dig in. Who is barking up a storm? Somebody is having a good time. <gasps> the puppies are ready to puppet! All right, go for it, Celery the Fifth. 
All right, so Celery the Fifth is gonna pop eight. And is it Sentry Feather who's making all this noise? And Sentry Feather, I'm gonna have, go ahead and hopefully finish up. Oh no, look! <laughs> We have an extremely angry puppy in the other room that we're gonna have to check out in just a second. But Sentry Feather, you're ready to puppy, so please finish eating this dog head, as weird as that sounds. Um, and then if I had something to give you a larger tail, I would, but I don't have garlic bread, which gives you larger tails, for the record. I just have- yeah, you're having a good time? You're ha I'm glad you're bouncing! You love the- you love the music! You're having too much fun to the music? Okay, well, we're just gonna have you puppy then. All right, we're gonna go ahead and have them puppy. And then what is going on? <gasps> I think these two don't like each other. Latera is picking a fight with uh, like Blizzney. We're gonna, like now she's taking it out on shaken objects. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. I didn't expect those two to not get along. Look at Latera. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's just bark, 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 bark. And Blizzney's like, oh yeah, well forget you. Here, we'll give Blizzney some pets. Maybe we just, everybody just may need some pets. Everyone just might need to calm down for a second. And Brizney, we might have to try, like, seeing what their pups would look like, but we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, Nana Wing, you're upset too? What is up with all my pups? They're just having such a hard time. Oh, look, Nana Wing is like flying around when you pet them. That is so cool. Here, do you want to eat this, Nana Wing? I should probably be more specific about what I feed you, but at this point, we're just happy for whatever we get. All right, so <laughs> now that Angel Lake is just like living their best life dancing in here, let's hatch Celery the Fifth and Sentry Feather, who I think is about to become an adult. Oh my goodness. This is very exciting. I have no idea how we're going to get a wide dog. We're going to need to work. Maybe if we work on wide stance, that will change. I think if we work on wide stance, that might give us a wide dog. So we're going to just need to work on that. I think we're going to need to work with the biggest dogs we can possibly, possibly create. Sentry Feather! You are now an adult and your color has changed and you are definitely not a wide dog. <laughs> yes! We now have the golden tailed feathered pup and I think that that means we're gonna have some amazing genetics to look forward to my friends. Oh my gosh and everybody's just dancing. It's awesome. So all right now that we have hatched several puppies now that we have gotten a few more things to pup bait and now that apparently Angel Lake is like yeah yeah that looks really fun I want to try that out too. Angel Lake I'm gonna try to feed you a coconut maybe that'll help your legs. I recall coconuts potentially helping legs. If everyone else will back off for a second so you can eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we have such a party going on now. This is so much fun. And maybe we'll actually have from Citrus Bean and Joy another huge dog that will be exactly what we need in order to unlock that wide dog gene. We'll, we'll be on the hunt next time. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our little party puppers. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, they're so cute.